Right this way, Kratos. Come in. Come in! Now, if you would just wipe your feet very thoroughly, I'll wait. You're not gonna wipe your feet, are you? Okay, then. Your bedrooms are there, the kitchen is just over there. Any... Anybody need a snack? Kratos? Snack? I do not need a snack. What we need is your help getting to Svarto Farm so we can try and rescue Tyr. To Tyr? Al alive? I mean, that's... What? It it's okay. I told him everything. Everything? You waited my son and disobeyed me. No, I, I kept an eye on him. On your behalf. Nothing risky. Everything very safe. Somebody else speak. What's important right now is that we try and open up travel between realms again. You said you know a way? Yes, I do. I just... It's just... There's... It's just a lot of mud. Then why haven't you opened the way already, man? Well, to be frank, there was... Something we needed your help with. Oh! The Holder brothers finally require the services of the smartest man alive. That's it precisely. Hey! Not so fast. How'd that get in here? What the hell is he anyway? That is my son. Well, what in all yarns me the happen to him? He's too damn tall now. And he looks like that. I blame you. Now, come on, then. Let's get him something that fits, at least. He's just getting older, you dark prat. Didn't you ever have an awkward phase in your youth? Hey. I suppose what's done is done. But you'll be putting your foot down from now on if you know what's good. Oh, he's trying. Believe me. All right, let's gear you fuckers up before you go off gallivant. Begin with this. Mmm. Busted up good. Mm. Wouldn't you rather I just whip you up a new one? It is important to me. Well, I'll see what I can do. In the meanwhile, how about I fix you up with something to get you by? got materials to make one of these in the here and now. You bring me more resources, we'll see what we can do. If the kid's gonna insist on getting taller, best make a habit of swinging in for new duds.
Looks like Fimble Winter's been hard on our girl. Give her here. She's overdue for some Brock love. Some items you left behind, tossed them in the chest. What would you do without me? I'm gonna go look around, check out my room. Tell Sindri when you're ready. Thank you. And how's life been treating everyone's favorite as your Vulgarian? The fuck you call me? <laughs> Exquisite. Wait. Those stairs will not support you. Please don't break my house. Hey, come see. I guess this is where they store the food. Nice to have options if I wake up hungry. Finding everything all right, I hope? We'll just need something from back at the workshop. Follow me, and be sure to bring the head. Uh, yeah. So, where exactly is Tyr being held? He's imprisoned in a mine somewhere. That's all we know so far. Hmm. The realm is full of mines, you realize. You'll need help narrowing it down. Oh, you should talk to Durlin. Who's Durlin? He's a cousin of ours, sort of. Works for the city on safety issues should have access to all kinds of information on mines. And I know he's no friend of Odin. That's why your mother sought his help when she was trying to whip up a rebellion. Ready? A rebellion? Did you know about that? I did not. A rebel leader who knew mom. Sounds like exactly what we need. I think you missed the ta-da. Well, never mind. I'll have this oiled up in no time. Meet you at the gateway outside. Rebel leader, Durlin? <laughs> if that ain't giving a hound a haircut. Huh? And you, you just remember things however they pop into your being, don't you? I suppose you think Durlin's just counting the days until a couple of strays show up looking for trouble. What do you mean, Brock? Will he help us or not? Oh, never mind. 
It ain't old Brock's place to cast asparagations on my relations. This smudge sponger notwithstanding. Ignoring you. Fine. Go darken Derlin's door. See for yourself how it goes. Just be warned, he's not the friendly sort of dwarf folk you're used to. He's cranky as all get out. And he talk funny, too. Sounds like a true study in contrast. You hear that? Are those some kind of dragons? They're so far, I can't tell how big they are. What are you doing? I don't think they're a threat. Also, aren't you way out of range? We'll just need the Bifrost in the head. Brock, do the touching. Oh, this would be the part requiring my assistance, then. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those Bifrost eyes of yours. So, I uh, do I control this thing somehow, then? Oh, no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place while we shine this light in your eyes. Oh, oh, Cindy, you stodding bastard! <laughs> Open. Open now. I was really hoping not to use the eyelid clamps. Do it. <laughs> oh! That's it. That's it. Good. Now, release! No one's poison. Oh, that's our cue. Come on, hurry! I'm coming, I'm coming! Frostful of eggs, man! What was that for? You'll see soon enough. Just... <gasps> there! That should do it. <sighs> see? No permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck! Kratos! Throw me at him! Horns first! <laughs> Can't you take a joke, you old goat? <laughs> The Bifrost is broken. Now that we've reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. I also used it for light. Okay, good note. I'll figure something out, but first... Come on, let me show you how it works. Aim your key at the rune for Svartalfheim on the right, then concentrate. This should take you to the wetlands outside Nidavellir City. Just make your way to the town square and ask for Durlin at the tavern. You sure they'll know him at the tavern? Durlin's always been an inveterate inebriate. I suppose he might have completely changed, but in my experience, eh. Did you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are... moist. And the Grim are everywhere. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But good luck! Thanks. Wait, what? I said good luck! Feel that? What's that like? Anything. E everything. It's warm. We can probably use this boat. If I can just get it free. Uh, 
Careful, uh. lad. Think so bad. already off to a lively start. Petraeus, you dropped your guard. I got the boat free, though. We can head through these channels when you're ready. I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here against Odin and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have come that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. There are resources. You never asked Mom about what she used to do. What did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say... Woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. in the water for that would be a dwarven supply ferry said ferry appears to be missing huh
Did you see that over there? That wheel is blocking the channel. I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. So these are wetlands, huh? Pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know, it is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. Looks like the path continues on the other side of that geyser. If only we were in Midway, that water would be frozen in a second. Looks to be an artifact from the Dwarven Resistance. Raid Mars Brassard, father of a few dwarves you may be well familiar with. Rock may be interested in getting these back. Better in his hands than out in the open. Dirty enough, Yvonne? Aye, good old dwarven craftsmanship. Tyr was a friend to the giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the rebellion here. It's certainly possible. The god of war often advocated for the giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. Come on. There's got to be a faster way to get down there. Yeah! 
Okay. There's got to be some way to turn the wheel up here. Oh! Fall there! Give a man some warning if he's about to suddenly end up snout deep in cheek. The ground. Was that an earthquake? Hmm. An occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Spartalfheim. With all the mining here, the land's bound to be a wee bit taller. Oh, wow. Nice job getting it lower exactly where we need it. I was thinking, because it's so warm, maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but maybe it's just different in Spartalfheim? Aye, lad. Fimble winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. Weird that... Fimble winter doesn't always make it winter. In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature. Observe the geysers. Observe the aforementioned aroma. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them. Father, up there. <laughs> Find anything good up there? Oh! 
that wheel moving, but the water doesn't reach.
Okay, we froze one of those geysers. Is there another one somewhere? Ingenuity for you. Back to the boat. If the dwarves of this realm are anything like Brock and Sindri, it's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke. Especially where gods are concerned. I just... I'm trying to keep our options open. Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warmth? Looks like we gotta find a way to open that gate if we want to get to neither Valir. Strange bugger popped back out of the ground again. It's too fast. Then how shall we catch it? Flank it. Attack from behind. Good. <laughs> Gotta get behind it. But how?
You did it. Let's see what it dropped. Father, up there. Halfway there. There's got to be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. Cover that geyser from here. else we can hit look there's a chain we can pull up there maybe you could try hitting the rope holding the block Try hitting the rope holding the block. Nice one. Can you see anything from that block? That's one of Cavassia's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. Exactly, are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? <laughs> Let's hope Tia's in a talkative mood after being imprisoned for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. That earthquake earlier. 
Do you think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimble Winter, maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. You might be on to something, lad. Atreus, look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to neither of the young brothers. Hey, towards! Oh. They're, uh, running away. An alarm. I'd only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why all that for us, though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Hey, could we talk we to you for a... any trouble, please? There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own. Is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Or fear him. Sindri! Hello! I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Take your time. <laughs> One less feathery spy. Whenever you're ready. What is a dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oh, you are long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material... Ow! Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something... Uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for, uh, finally trying it? What's it gonna be this time? <sighs> Patience! I find it's best to see these things... In action! Ah! Uh. <sighs> there. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say, Skialfa. Well, I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlies in need of Valir. How was I supposed to know they were there? Okay, so, Derlin. 
injury. Any idea where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer you just punched a hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. Another of Cavassia's poems. So this lockdown really is because of us? Oh my, yes. Odin's grip on this realm is so firm, any outsider is considered a threat. Sounds like an Odinism if I ever had one. At your service. Till we meet again! What can I make for you? I'll take him. I am, as always, at your service. Best of luck! Any outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side, too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you're made an example of. To keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. Tavern's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe we can try knocking on some doors for directions. Uh, let's just keep moving. For you here, I don't care what you want. No food, no encouraging word, no nothing. Please! <laughs> A firebomb from the chief anti Odin propagandist in Durland's Rebellion. Quite a sharp wit he had until she turned to. Well, subtle means. <laughs> 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 Yo! 
Tropa! I think we need some special equipment to use this. Kidding about the structural sensitivity. This looks promising, right? Well, it's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You? Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Fair point, though. Very well. Ugh. <sighs> 